okay so in this particular example let's read the question it says in the diagram below O is the center of the circle O is the center of the circle G H J and K are points on the circumference of the circle G O H is a diameter so it is important for us to make sure that we read what is given and we make note of it it says that G O H is a diameter and clearly now I can see that that K1 is going to equal to 90 degrees angle in semicircle. Chords G, H, J, H, K, H, K, J, and G, K have also been drawn. H1 is 26. So fill in 26 degrees on our diagram. The key to being successful in geometry is making sure that you always update in your diagram. They say that I must find K1. So my first answer for 5.1.1, which I've already solved, K1 equals to 90 degrees and my reason will be angle in semi circle so we know that k1 is equal to 90 degrees now for 5.1.2 they want us to find j so there's j over here now guys if you look at this k j h and g what is that figure called? It's a cyclic quadrilateral, isn't that so? Now, if you look carefully, we can find G. We can find G using sum of angles of triangle, and J will be opposite this angle. And what do we know about a cyclic quadrilateral? Opposite angles are supplementary. So there we go. That is our solution. So we can. Let's just bring this up very quickly. Let's put this in our calculator. So we'll say 180 for sum of angles of triangle, right? Minus, what's that? 90 plus 26, 90 plus 26 equals to 64. So that's 64 degrees. And then thereafter, 180 minus 64 equals to 116 degrees so that's equal to 116 degrees now we can write our statements out so firstly we'll say g is equal to 180 minus 90 plus 26 degrees sum of angles of triangle that's equal to 64 degrees therefore j equals to 180 minus 64 degrees opposite angles cyclic quad supplementary equals to 160 there you go an exam type problem that's testing angle in semicircle sum of angles of triangle and cyclic quadrilaterals